Hello dear learners, how are you today? I will be your guide for your science subject and I am Teacher Clary. This time, we will tackle your module 6 on the second quarter. This is about the comets, asteroids, and meteors. So, let's fasten our seatbelts and fly in the outer space and discover the other members of the solar system. Are you ready? In page 3, under target, we can see there the most essential learning competency. So, at the end of this module, you are expected to compare and contrast comets, meteors, and asteroids. Specifically, the activities will enable you to describe and identify the physical properties of comet, asteroid, and meteor. Explain how meteor, meteoroid, and meteorite are related and compare and contrast the physical characteristics of comet, asteroid, and meteor. So, what is a comet? A comet is a small heavenly body and consists of mainly dust, ice, and some small particles. They are sometimes called the dirty snowball. And this is the anatomy or structure of a comet. The inner part of the ball is called the nucleus with 10 km in diameter. The next part is coma. It is a cloud of evaporated ices and ions with 100,000 km in diameter. Then it has tails, the dust tail and the plasma or ion tail. A comet always points away from the sun. An example for this is the Comet Humason, seen in every 75,000 years. Where the comets come from? They came from the Earth cloud, which is located beyond the orbit of the dwarf planet Pluto, and they are also found in the Kuiper Belt, located beyond the orbit of Neptune. Now, let's go to the next. Asteroids. So, what are asteroids? Asteroids are solid pieces of rock and metal. For these are rocky fragments that orbits mainly between Mars and Jupiter. Their shape is very irregular, mostly composed of rocks and metals, specifically iron and nickel. The orbit is more rounded and less elliptical. Where are asteroids? Asteroids may be found in asteroid belt, which is located between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter. Have they hit us before? Yes, many scientists believe that asteroids have hit the Earth many times in its history. Now, after describing the two Earth objects, the comet and the asteroid, we're going to compare them based on their origin, shape, or being chemical composition. A comet originates from the Oort cloud and Kuiper belt, while an asteroid from the main asteroid belt. Comets and asteroids both Chemical composition of asteroids are frozen gases like ammonia, methane, and carbon dioxide, and other carbon compounds. An asteroid consists of silicate, typically olivine, and the two elements silicon and silicate. 
There are other members in the solar system. They are not aligned with your energy. So, what are they? A meteoroid is a broken up star from either a comet, asteroid, the moon, or from Mars. They can be as small as a grain of sand or as big as a grain of sand. It usually burns up when it enters the atmosphere. Meteor. So what is a meteor? A meteor is a light phenomenon and seems to follow the sun. It shoots from a point in the sky, making people think that it is a shooting or falling star. Sometimes, in the night sky, it displays meteor showers. There are about one dozen meteor showers that occur on regular dates throughout the year. These showers are caused by debris left behind by a comet that passes close to orbit of our planet Earth. When meteor strikes the Earth's surface or it survives to the ground, then it is said to be meteorite. They are of importance to scientists in studying the occurrence of different elements and compounds on Earth. How are meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite related? A meteoroid is a broken up rock and dust from either a comet, asteroid, the moon, or from Mars. Usually burns up when it enters the Earth's atmosphere, then resulted to as a light phenomenon or a string of light called meteors. And when a fragment from the meteoroid survives and it makes it to the ground, it is now called the meteorite. Alright class, I hope you already understand the different members of the solar system. This time, you're going to answer activities from your module in P-Pen on page 6 and in Gage on page 7. You have to submit your outputs until the end. And if you have any question or clarification, kindly send your message to me. As they say, if you don't know, the thing to do is not get scared, but to learn. Sometimes, if you want to relax or unwind, and sit upon the ground and look or gaze on the night sky to have a chance of watching meteor or meteor showers. Goodbye for now class. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all.